Toxic with this down here can be what? Oh, okay. So that's why I encourage you all to do the shear. But the shear is very difficult to make mistakes. <laughs> Sorry, uh, I I have a long day. <laughs> so thirty minus y minus because this is where the average is is going towards the what left hand side. Okay, so thirty. 86.023 times by cos 84.4, 84.46. So this is equal to 8.305. So this will be equal to 30 minus 8.305. It is equal to 21.695. Okay. Then we do our stress x30. This will be 30 plus by what? 8.305. Okay, so it's 38.305 megapascal. Okay, done. Now it's where it's not difficult. Now it's where you have to be more. Okay, I'll let you all finish off. So the next thing is where the money is. Bring it from more circular to the what? The element. Repeat again. Bring it from more circular. To the one. To the element. Okay. This one is different from the example we do did last week because there was no one. There's no shear. Today we have what? We have a shear. Are we clear? Okay. So from here, we are going to draw our element. Okay. We're going to draw our element. And our element, so this is the original axis. Okay. And the and, and the axis that we are interested in is the element will be rotated clockwise by what? 30 degrees on the element. 30 degrees. So this axis that I'm drawing is the 30 degrees orientation. And I'm going to okay. So this has been rotated Rotate by 30 degrees. Okay. So from here, I'm going to draw a box. Sorry, I'm going to draw an element. Okay. So that is our 30 degrees element. After this, I want you to just listen to me and focus. Okay, so do anything. Okay, after you have finished writing. So now I want you to draw a horizontal line. This horizontal line represents your Y. And this horizontal line represents your what? Your X. Guys are just so keen. Just keep on. I'll, I'll, I'll monitor you guys. Okay, don't worry. If you have copy, you copy it. I'm fine. Now watch this. Y to Y30 is rotating what? Clockwise, 60 degrees. Y, and this will be what? Y30 rotating 30 degrees. So from here, Y30 
is tens of 21.695. Okay, so that's the easy part. So we know that this is going to tens of. Twenty-one point six nine five. Okay, and we know if this is y thirty over here has to be what x thirty. Okay, so this is our what x thirty. So the normal stress will be equal to thirty-eight point three zero five. will be equal to 38. So the normal stress is the easy part now. Okay. The, the, not difficult. The next thing is the what? The shear. Okay. Now, don't, 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 don't write anything. The shear can be confusing. Y30. Y30. Element rotating clockwise or anti clockwise? Anti clockwise. For the element to rotate anti clockwise, the shear stress has to go up or come down. Up or down. Going this way or doing this. Okay, so if you put the finger at the center, this red arrow that we just drawn will rotate the Y30 based on the shear will rotate anti-clockwise. This is what? Anti what? Clockwise. Okay. So if you look at X30, if you look at X30 now, the element is going to rotate what? Clockwise. For X30 to be clockwise, it has to be going this way. Yes or no? So once you got that, your shear will be at what? 85.628. Sorry, at 6 to 1 megapascal. Are we clear? Okay, are we clear? So that's why the carbon fiber theory. <laughs> No, that's not always match. Okay, depend on the orientation. Now, how do you eat hamburger? Right? Some people like to eat the meat first and then the buns. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Some people just. I'm not seeing you before. I've actually never been in one of your classes. Which department are you in? What is the society? Oh my god. Never seen him before. There's one time a student brought his dad and stood behind. And because of your, you, you know that, right? Three hours of your time with me, your safety is my responsibility. I went to confront the dad, but I let him stay. He said he's learning a bit. I said, good. Right. Okay. So, so this is of use. This is where the use would start. Talking about hamburger, there's more than one way to eat a hamburger. Right. Now. You can also do this, okay? You can also orientate in such a way that you want to use the X, right? So you can use this surface over here to rotate what? So what is this degree, what is this angle over here? Anyone? So this can be also known as X what? X60, yes or no? So when you come to here, Right? X60, right? So from X rotate clockwise or anti-clockwise. So over here, rotate in a what? Clockwise direction. So X60 
If I put my protractor here, it will rotate my X by what? 120 degrees. Kevin, come here. Hurry up, it's 18, man, buddy. Is this 16? Yeah, you better say yes. Thank you very much. Okay, so you can also use by what? Using X16, right? So now this is called what? X what? 16. Okay. Thank you, Kevin. Okay. okay, so that is also your what? X16. So either way is fine. Yes. The yeah, so also from the clockwise, right? right? So from X, right, to here is also what? Of the same direction. So, anyway, whatever plane you take, the answer will be the what? Be the same. Are we clear? Okay, so I want you to have that comfort level. There's no fixed rule, okay? You can take from either way. Answer will always be the one. Say right. Okay, I'm going to jump into compound loading, combined loading now. Okay. Listen. Uh, there is a lot of material to absorb here. Okay. So this is not a fast food restaurant. We clear. Takes time. Okay, you don't understand now, fine. It's recorded. Okay, watch it again and again. Are we clear? Okay. Right. The axle of an automobile is acted upon by the force and couple shown. Knowing that the diameter of the solid axle is 1.25 inch, determine the principal plane and principal stresses at point H, located on the top of axle, maximum shearing stress at the point, optimum. Carbon fiber reinforced plastic orientation. If I were to be how many of you? Are not mechanical or manufacturing engineers over here. And you guys are serious. Come on, you guys have seen this before, yeah? <laughs> and like a couple of years ago, okay? Assuming that this is a burnt cause, unbelievable. No. <laughs> if we were to now, those of you who are around we have done strength of materials or green. Uh, to PO4, right? So this is where we have to put into PO4. Okay. Now, if we were to remove the the vertical load and the rotation, yes, we just have the what? We just have the torque. Question for you is: When were the structure fail in torsion? I give you two two choices. When the shaft is rotating, or when the shaft suddenly stops. Suddenly stops. When the shaft is rotating, remember, remember what I told you guys, you and Eugene jump from fifth floor. When will he die? My heart is strong. Okay. Fourth floor, my cholesterol is good. Third floor, when the second floor. I only die when I hit the what? In the ground. The top, when the structure is spinning. It will not what? You will not fail. It will fail when all of a sudden you, you engage reverse gear. <laughs> yes or no? All of a sudden you are traveling at 80 kilometers per hour 
Out of nowhere, you decided to go reverse what happened. Shabu no. Don't even try it. Okay, don't dare me. Okay, I ain't gonna fix your car. So we good. Right? So the all of a sudden the change. Now, why did the change cause the failure? Now this is the